up everybody it's your boy king boys productions and i am back at it with another reaction video so today we are here with yeet my wrist featuring young thug uh there's a new song just released from yeet uh i've been a fan of yeet i don't i'm not like a a diehard fan that likes everything that he puts out but i saw a little snippet slash like teaser for this song and it sounded fire and then also i clicked it and you know how like the video will play right away because <laughs> that's how videos work, right? <laughs> um, just the beat just to come in was fire. So I was like, all right, let's check this out, man. Let's check this out. Um, hopefully everyone's having a good week. You know, uh, Labor or Memorial Day weekend. So you get the long weekend. So make sure to watch all the videos. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I've been trying to stay consistent. Uh, I Like I've, I've said many times before, there are going to be some weeks that I'm just not able to post just because of other stuff. I think in like two weeks, I probably won't be able to post. I don't know. You guys honestly just won't see videos, you know? So make sure you have those post notifications on, right? So you do know when I post because it's going to be like, it's not every week. You know, it has been consistently for the last like month or so. I, even like maybe the last two months I've posted like every week. But there's going to come a time where I'm not going to post to like, make sure to just stay on top of things, you know what I'm saying? I have other channels too that I post on if you don't know already. I know I've gotten a lot of new subscribers over here the last couple weeks, so I appreciate y'all. Um, but yes, I do have other channels as well. I have King Boys Productions, which is like primarily my gaming channel. And I have KBP, which I react to other stuff over there that's non-music related. It's usually like funny skits or, and I sometimes rant over there too. I also have a clip channel where you can find clips from this channel, from my gaming channel. They're all in my, uh, they're all in the description, I'm pretty sure. But then also, if you go to my page and you click channels, you'll see all of the channels that I have. Those are all run by me. So, like, please subscribe over there too. I think you guys would like some of the content over there. But anyway, uh, let's get right into this uh, song. Ooh. It just starts so far. It's so funny because there are times it like literally I do not know what he just said. Those last three bars, I do not know at all what he just said. Like I literally cannot understand. It's so funny because like the music's so hype and the the beat is so good. The ad lives the in the background is <laughs> so far but like i cannot understand what he's saying at all and i don't know if you guys can and if you can good on you but i literally <laughs> cannot understand what he's saying like let me rewind a quick second like please can you please explain to me what he said right here what what was that i have no idea what he said like, I'm gonna have to, like, I look up a lyric video sometimes with Yeet, and I'll be like, oh, 
That's what he said. I have no clue what he just said right there, but it was still fire somehow. Like what? What? But it's fire. Oh yeah. Hey, that shit was fire. <laughs> Again, like, I think Thug does the similar thing too. Where like, there are times where you just do not understand what he's saying at all. But it still just sounds like, I don't know what it is, man. It just still sounds good. And I still want to sit down and I still want to put that on my playlist. And I'll just pump that, pump that in the car. Like, it can be the most basic lyrics, but like, like, look at my wrist. <laughs> Look at my face. Look at my bitch. Hey. <laughs> it's just like, you just be in the car like, ah, ah, ah. I wanted to go to the, there was a Yeet concert about, um, probably like a month or two ago. And I was going to go, but the tickets ended up being like really pricey. Like, they were probably like a hundred bucks. And I was just like, I, I like Yeet, but not enough to go to a concert and spend a hundred dollars. Cause it's not just like a hundred dollars. Plus I got to drive down there. Plus I sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to pay for parking. A lot of the places you got to pay, pay for parking, uh, anywhere you go. So pay for parking. Then not only that, then you have to sit and wait through like the opening acts and all that stuff too. So you're kind of like waiting, waiting, waiting until the art, till like he finally comes out. And then, you know, I don't know how long a show he puts on. He might put on like an hour show, but he might put on shorter. I don't know. But it's so sometimes it's just like, I just don't feel like especially like so there's like some some venues that are like literally in downtown atlanta and those ones are tough those are tough because those are to get to those ones is such like a pain in the ass and like the parking's just such a bitch like there's some that are like like away from down like right in downtown a little bit that i really like and there's some that are like completely out of downtown but like the ones that are like smack dab downtown oh my god they're such a damn bitch because it's like it's just it's chaos all the time it doesn't matter like it could be the middle of the week and it's chaos and you're like what what is happening because there's always like some event happening there's always like something it's never like oh it's just a normal dead day like oh we have the blah 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 convention here at the hotel right here so now it's hell down here again i don't know it's just a classic so uh so i didn't end up going but the next one hopefully maybe he'll have a bigger venue and have like cheaper tickets or something and i'll go uh, but anyway, if you guys did like, please leave a like, please subscribe. And I also have to add, Free Thug. Hey, I don't know if there's any update. I remember there was that whole thing where he was in, he was like taking stuff. He wasn't he like popping pills or he was like taking something in the courtroom. Like someone like shook his hand and like gave him some drugs or something. And it's like, yo, I don't know if that was real or that was just like, a, I don't know if that was just like internet bullshit, you know, because there's a lot of that that, go, that goes around like, People say things and then it's like just complete bullshit, like just complete made up internet bullshit. And then it gets taken by like other platforms that don't do their research. There's a lot of those, by the way, the social media pages that like are massive social media pages, but don't do research at all. And just post as soon as someone posts a headline, they just po make an Instagram post or a Twitter post about it. It's kind of a bit fucked up, you know, because they'd be like, oh, this person this person died or something like that. And you won't even do research. And then people will be like, what? No. And then they'll start tagging it on their stories and all that shit. And then just to find out that it wasn't true. And it's just, I don't know. That kind of shit's just weird to me. But uh, anyway, I'm sorry. If you did like, please, free thug, please like, please subscribe. Uh, original video is in the description down below if you'd like to check that out for yourself. 
And until next time, it's your boy, King Boys Productions. Squaw! My love's like a black cold sun, so bright when it burns, so dark when it's done. So hard to relate to, but when I find myself tripping off that blunt, tripping off this blunt, so I might be blunt if I do confront you. Don't run.